today we are going to talk to you guys about some good ways to keep your skin as well as your hair hydrated for the coming months while we will be swimming and out in the sun. Now we have an awesome product that we are going to show you that has really helped our skin and hair to do just that, to stay moisturized and sleek and smooth and so we're really excited to show that to you guys today. <laughs> we just want to let you know that we're going to be giving three bottles, not six, but really three <laughs> bottles of this wonderful product away. It's called Just Argon Oil. It's from, actually, it's from a co-op of women that hand press um, the plant and it's really truly living up to every bit of hype that we maybe would have had. We wouldn't review a product for you if we didn't love it ourselves. And to clarify, argon oil is not an essential oil, so it's not like some of the oils that are really popular right now, but in my opinion, it is an essential oil to have in your home. Um, it's really just surpassed again, like I said, any expectation I had. Argan oil is also known as a lubricating oil, so it can be used with any essential oils that you're already using. Um, almost as a carrier oil, but you'll also get the benefits that it has of healing and really smoothing your skin and things like that. But you can also use it with everyday products, you know, using it with your lotion and things like that, which we are going to show you coming up. So when I was approached to use the Just Argon Oil, again, I was really just kind of skeptic. I don't know, we've used everything on my son's eczema. He's two, but he's had eczema since he was about six months old. And we really have been to dermatologists, we've been to pediatricians, and they keep just giving us a steroid cream, which I'm okay doing because it has improved the texture and the redness to some degree. But then the minute we start slacking or I feel like he's getting too much of the steroid and I back off, it just flares back up again. He's been tested for allergies, he doesn't have any, so it's just true, plain as day eczema. So what I decided to do was to take some of the medication um, ointment that my son is prescribed and then I would just take a couple of drops of the argan oil, mix it together with his prescription and then apply it to his skin. And I saw literally immediate results overnight. His skin was so much less red, the cracking and the bleeding subsided within probably two or three days. And just because I'm that skeptical person, I decided not to use the argan oil and just use his medicine for about three days just to see if it was really the oil helping or if it was the medication. And again, I was just kind of dumbfounded at the fact that his skin went right back to the same condition it was in with just just the medication. So the oil was really helping the medicine absorb. It was keeping it so I guess the skin cells weren't as inflamed and it really has improved his eczema. Now I'm not suggesting it's a cure because obviously I'm not a doctor and I can't do that, but it has made improvements in my two-year-old's eczema. And for that, I think it's just worth keeping around just for that. Another of our favorite ways to use Just Argan Oil is on our cuticles. If you put it on your nail and then massage it in around the cuticle, it will soften it up so that you can push it back. And it will also moisturize your nail bed so that if you have dry or brittle nails that are cracking, that will definitely put some moisture in there so that they will be restored and healthier. Just Argan Oil works really well as a deep conditioner for your hair. I did this and I could really tell a difference in the texture of my hair and how sleek and soft it was. Now you'll start by taking some coconut oil as a carrier oil. This will just help to take the argan oil to the rest of your hair so you don't have to use so much argan oil. You'll take it and mix it up in your hands. Now I don't really use my argan oil right here as you can see because I didn't want to waste it because I wasn't really deep conditioning my hair. Just showing you here. Now you'll take it and rub it in your hands until the coconut oil is all kind of melted down and smooth and then you'll take it and rub it through your sectioned off hair. Now you only wanna do a section at a time, otherwise you're gonna get a big glob in one spot of your hair and it's not gonna be evenly distributed. So you'll take each section of your hair, pull it up in a clip, and then just start from the ends and work your way up. Then once you have all of your hair really well covered, I just pulled mine up and put it in a clip for several hours and then washed it out at the end and it really made a difference in how smooth my hair was. If you're wanting a quicker condition, take your Just Argan Oil into the shower and use it along with your conditioner. Another way to use it is to add it directly into your bath water for smoother, softer skin. In addition to using the Argan Oil, we have a couple of tips for you because summer's coming and that means sun and chlorine, which is a bummer for your skin and your hair. So before you go swimming, we would recommend that you get your hair wet and if you possibly can, you can put a leave-in conditioner 
um, so that that way when your hair goes into the water, the chlorine doesn't soak into those dry hair follicles. They've already got something that's absorbed into them and they don't soak up the chlorine as much. Another one of my favorite uses for the argan oil is I even just keep it by my bed at night and every night before I go to bed, I use it with my lotion and just rub it into my hand and by the time I wake up, my hands are so soft in the morning. That's perfect for the summer because as you're out gardening or working in the yard, or doing all sorts of different things, your hands get so dry and cracked and sometimes your fingertips will crack and that will really help to prevent that from happening. Okay, so if you haven't subscribed to The Layered Life, we're gonna keep bugging you until you do, <laughs> realistically. So you might as well. It's really easy. There's a little button below our video and you're just gonna click the word subscribe. You do need a YouTube uh, user account to do that, but if you have a Google, Google Plus, if you have Gmail, you probably already have a YouTube account. So.